Ukraine is stuck in Abdiivka, as Russia operationally encircles them. It's day 722 of Russia's operation in Ukraine. Let's dive deeper. Starting from Abdiivka. Ukraine's situation in Abdiivka has become very dire after recent Russian advance. Sudden Russian penetration of Ukrainian defense that started a week ago has completely turned the situation in the city. In my previous report, I reported that Russian forces, after taking full control over the industrial area, were attacking the petrol station on the main supply road. Yesterday it was reported that, not only did they capture the petrol station, but were also able to take couple of neighboring streets. After this advance, the main supply road of Ukrainian armed forces was now cut. However, Ukraine tried everything to not let this happen. In fact, they deployed one of their best brigades to Avdiivka. In recent videos that were shared by Ukrainian sources, we can see them attacking Russian forward positions with armored vehicles, after which they came under artillery fire. However, it is reported that the video is a couple of days old, when Russian forces were fighting for the industrial areas. But it seems like even an entirely new brigade was not able to stop Russians from taking physical control over the road. In many of my previous reports, I have reported that Ukrainian forces can still supply through this road to the city. So to cut that road as well, Russian forces have already started attacking in that direction from two sides. Today it was reported that they were able to take trenches located at the tree line, and as a result captured this area. So in the coming days, we can expect a massive Russian push towards the road, which is only around 1.5 kilometers away. In addition they are also advancing towards the ninth quarter along the streets. Recently they were able to capture a couple of blocks around Chistiakova Street. At the southern flank, Russian forces are encircling Ukrainian forces in the air defense base. Latest report says Russian forces were able to take this area under their control. They are also attacking from the other side, so Ukrainian forces are at very real risk of encirclement. So it is expected that they will withdraw. We have a similar situation at the southeastern flank. After the Russian forces started attacking from two sides, Ukrainian forces were forced to withdraw from these trenches. Currently Russian forces are clearing the trenches. In addition there are also reports that Ukrainian forces withdrew from this area towards the city. Sources say as only one road remains open, Ukrainian armed forces are withdrawing their troops. But as Russian forces are attacking that road from two direction and are only 1.5 kilometers away, mass withdrawal will come at great price. There are reports that Russians are shelling that road very intensely. Some people say Ukrainian forces are stuck as they can't withdraw as that could cost them a high price, and also cannot hold, as they will be encircled. Many sources suggested that they will launch a counterattack to unblock the city, as they are already building up their forces. But due to the recent Russian strike on newly deployed reinforcement at the Selidov, in which Ukrainian forces suffered high losses, many sources are skeptical of the Ukrainian counterattack. But you have to keep in mind even after complete encirclement, the Ukrainian garrison in the city will have enough supplies to last for a couple of days. Let's see how the situation unfolds. Subscribe for more frontline updates. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.